What's going on guys? My name's Chris. Welcome to another Terraria video. Alright. Same deal. You guys know the deal. I'm going to attempt to destroy the destroyer. <laughs> Go figure. In this video. Just like I did last video where I failed miserably. The fuck is that? Oh, regular flower. Of course. But, good news. Kind of. I managed to coerce some of my flowers into blooming so I've got two iron skin potions I've only got one regeneration potion but we're gonna go with that I made some more greater healing potions and I'll be equipping the uh, arcane philosopher stone this time so I'll be able to spam them more more uh, more often I'm equipping the banner regeneration that on top of uh, the regeneration potion should give me a sufficient amount I still got this equipped only because I want the immunity to knock back. It's very important because this guy will bounce you around. I need the mobility of this, these wings, as well as uh, the increased melee output from that. So you get, uh, also I, I decided to take my adamantite sword now, which I made a while back. You only need like 10 bars. So I decided to take this instead of the auto swinging cobalt sword just because as easy as it is to auto swing. The enhanced damage uh, from this thing should make up for it. It's like 14 more damage. Maybe more? Let me go check. Oh, wait. That would be over here. 59 damage on this sword and 45. Uh, 14 more damage. It's a pretty significant amount, I think. Even with a little bit slower speed uh, from this sword and uh, the auto swing, I should be able to. I should be able to output more damage. I figured this was better to do against the probes. The probes are actually more damaging than the boss himself. The boss itself, unless the boss hits you with its, um, with its head, which I'll try to avoid at all at all costs, for damn sure. Ooh, that's a pretty good crit. And I also brought out the star cannon just in case I get a long range from the dude. I want to battle that way? I'm gonna try to fight him above ground this time, like out of this little area, because I did get confined a little bit. I'm going to try to fight him right about here. This way, right around here, this way at least I can see him coming if he comes this way. And we got a couple layers of ground, um, yeah, a couple layers trying to slow him down so he doesn't go too fast. Whatever, I don't even, I don't even give a shit. We're just going to give it a shot. Might as well get this out of the way. I don't want to use that on accident. If I do happen to use all 12 of these potions, which is a possibility depending on, wow, that bunny went flying. Another blood moon? That just happened. Well, that would be suicide to find him now. That'd be a very, very bad decision. There, there was literally just a blood moon last, um, or like two nights ago. That's some bad luck. Really mad about that. I was all excited to fight him too. I'm gonna have to wait. Get the fuck off me. This sword is too slow. You know what? We're gonna go with the cobalt sword. This sword's too slow. I guess it's like the equivalent of uh, the Muramasa versus the fiery great sword, where I would take the Muramasa every day of the week and twice on Sundays. Oh, that was close. I would take the Muramasa any fucking day over the fiery great sword, regardless of the um, stats from the fiery great sword. It's just not as good. It's not even that much more damage. Oh, well, it's a significant amount, but I'm gonna go with the cobalt. I guess I should just probably bring this back in when um when it's time to fight the boss because uh, I gotta wait for another day now. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll bring it back in when uh, we're about to fight the boss. Hopefully, we'll, we'll be able to get more day blooms going. Doubtful, but you never know. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, it's almost go time again. Oh, well, for the first time. <laughs> this video, at least. Horrible luck with the blood moons there. Not cool. <laughs> It's like staring at the dude right at my feet. Yeah, I figure I'll find him up here. Um, should be more mobile. I'm planning on using the star cannon if I can too. I get, I get 39 stars to burn. If I can get a, if I can get his body like on top of me, like horizontally or something like that, 
And um, with how fast this thing fires, I can put out some serious damage. That'd be a nice little cushion. I gotta remember to try to kill his head above ground. Oh, I'm talking like I'm gonna win. But if the, if it comes to that. I've also heard of strategies strategies using the chainsaw. Although it's um, obviously using the adamantite chainsaw. But you can like let him come up and just like put your chainsaw across his body. And it does massive damage supposedly. I don't know if it'll outdo what I can do with the, this style of pow. But we'll see. I've also heard of a strategy using um, the the magical harp. I'm not sure if that's the correct name for it, but using the the special weapon harp and making like a little box of a room, and then like setting a uh, the heart statue and a magic statue or whatever to to like a circuit, and it'll like constantly spam out hearts on you, and you surround yourself in a small little room and just blast the harp. And the bosses just like impale themselves on it because the harp, I guess, impenetrates infinite amount of enemies. So it like literally shreds that dude while you're getting your health filled back up. And the probes can't shoot through the wall either, so that's nice. Alright. Get all nervous right before I fight this dude. I love, I love like the feeling when, you, when you're fighting somebody that you're not sure you can beat. Feeling of challenge. Still debating on whether or not Star Cloak is a good idea, but I don't know what I would replace before I have time to do it. Oh boy. My god. Oh yeah, I should probably put out my potions. Oh boy, I didn't see him coming, so it's too late. Oh boy. Ah! Man. I did. Ah. Oh. Damn it. Alright, we're doing it again. I don't care if it's my last mechanical thing. And I only got one of the other potions to work with. Doing it again. I'm gonna start buffed this time. Last time I kind of forgot the buff. God, he comes fast. Where the other shots come from? Oh, I didn't even start buff like I said I was going to. That's not working all that well. Wow.
and a head comes out of nowhere. I can't take this dude. Ah, that laser barrage is killing me. I get him down to like 40,000 health. There's no chance for me to fight this guy yet. <sighs> Demoralizing defeats. I could always try the uh, strategy I saw online. Where you build, yeah, like I told you guys before, where you build, you use the meteorites. And then uh, kind of walk across that. Obviously, I would have to take this off and use my other obsidian or my other cobalt shield, which is a good thing I saved that. But um, I think I have one. Let's see. I should. I haven't done anything with it. Not that I remember. There we go. So I can use that. So I'm not immune to the fire and just stand on top of the obsidian, or not the obsidian, but just stand on top of the meteorite, and uh, hopefully, created about 100 blocks long, and uh, for the most part, the boss won't be hitting you, it'll just be the one damage from the meteorite, so maybe we'll try that next video. But I gotta go get the materials to uh, craft another mechanical worm, because I wasted that second one, I probably should have just waited, but whatever, we're having fun trying to do this without, like looking at videos or something like that dude is intimidating I can't imagine Skeleton, Skeletron Prime or um the twins one of the, one of the eyeballs I heard is like just terrifying he does a breath attack and his dash attack is like way faster than you can run so it should be fun I think we'll get him next time thanks for watching guys peace well I am a stubborn relentless motherfucker so we're gonna try this again I'm gonna try it this way let's see this so this is my plan as you can see this is what I'm gonna do and it only does one damage each each time it hits me so we need to actually we need to start this right away hopefully this works here we go I have no clue how, how effective this is going to be. Seems to be doing a good job though. As long as I can avoid his face. And being hit by the body too much. Hell yeah! Well, it's not perfect. Holy shit! This is going very well. Very well. That's where I'm that's stupid to do. Hell yeah. We're gonna take this bitch down. I couldn't wait, man. I was like, nah. We're not waiting. We're just, we're doing this thing. Oh, we got this dude, no problem. Oh, that hurt.
Come on, come on. 20, 20k to go. Oh yeah, this is no, no worries. I got this. What a smart strategy. Whoever thought this up is a genius. I gotta make sure I kill this dude where I can see him though. When I get him down to the last thousand, I'll take him off, off this. Oh god. Yeah! Yes! Woo! Took the dude down. That was actually easy as hell, too. Like, I arguably didn't even need the, uh... Iron skin potion, although it sure didn't hurt. That is an awesome strategy. And apparently it can be applied for uh, the other two as well, although I'll try to do... Uh, wow, did I get 24 um, souls of uh, might for that too? I think I did. 24 is a pretty, uh, pretty solid number. Let's check. 23 okay 23 one second I'll be right back I'm gonna check what I can make with that all right I could do hallowed plate mail and I could also do the Excalibur and I think I'm gonna do the Excalibur first it doesn't really matter because now that I beat him once I'll probably just beat him on my own uh, a bunch of times and uh, there's no need to show that again once I've already done it once but I think I'm gonna do the Excalibur because you can auto swing that uh, just like the uh, massive cobalt sword so you take the cobalt sword I think I have the, uh, the tools to do it I got the adamantite sword did I make oh shit I don't know if I made uh, a mithril sword and I need more mithril bars to do that then let's check if not I'll just make the uh, hallowed armor right now or the hallowed chest plate at least and then I have to go collect more mithril on my own but I could potentially do the Hamdrax, although I need a lot more stuff to do that. Stuff that I didn't bother making before. I can make the Mega Shark now, but... Nah, we'll hold off on that. Alright, I guess we're gonna... Let's see. I'm excited. I took him down. I guess we're just gonna do... I guess I'll settle for the... Hallowed Armor right now. Which... Yeah, you know, that's not exactly settling at all. I know I made mithril armor. I know I did. Didn't I? I think I did. Oh! I don't care about secret treasure, although I should. Damn it, if I didn't make mithril armor, I'm going to be so mad. Well, let's try helmets first. Get all three of those. Ah, what do I need? I'll be right back. I can't craft the damn thing right now. As far as the, the adamantite sets at all so actually I'm kinda tired so I'm just glad I beat him once so now that I know I can beat him actually it was quite easy it wasn't that difficult at all I really didn't try that hard I mean I was I was moving but like even when I was just moving back and forth and not really doing much besides hitting him I wasn't taking very much damage at all not nearly enough to uh, threaten my life so I can I can deal with that dude I do have to go get more mithril, which is annoying. I got enough cobalt. And I still got my whole cobalt set, which I definitely made. Uh, just mithril and a little bit more adamantite. I'll need it for the for the greaves part. But I also need the other souls, too. For the chest plate, it's soul of might. But as you guys probably know, like for the head, it's soul of sight. And for the greaves, it's soul of fright. So I can't even get the whole set anyway. I still need to beat the other bosses. But at least I got the ones for the main... 
in my personal opinion, the main set piece, which would be that. And then, um, actually, first I'll probably still do Excalibur if I'm going to have to go Mithril Hunting. I only need six more bars worth for, uh, to get ten Mithril Bars and then I can create an Excalibur. Anyways, I called it good. We took him down in the second video, fifth attempt. Uh, no, fourth attempt. So it wasn't so bad. I, I don't know if people consider that strategy cheap. It's kind of... Yeah, whatever. I beat him, that's all that matters. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.